Good morning, lovely people. So I'm here in my office because um, my husband is in the living room playing his game. And I always come out here, y'all already know, to look at my budget. I don't know what it is. I just can't work on my budget at nighttime. So even though I try and tell myself like, oh, okay, I'm going to do some budgeting at nighttime and get caught up with all that stuff. Yeah, no, it doesn't happen. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. So, I am in here. I already made my coffee, y'all. I'm having some hazelnut coffee. And I am going to try and get some videos done. I have some topics that I'm going to be doing, like face-to-face -face talking with y'all. So, um, I'm going to be working on that hopefully this weekend. My husband is home and we are going to be running around some errands and doing some things. And yeah, y'all, I am trying to choose happiness. I just realized that literally every weekend I make it about cleaning my house cooking dinner and getting ready to go right back to work and not really enjoying or doing things to make me happy and not focusing on work because everything is like revolved around work. So I am trying to better enjoy my time outside of work so that I'm happy and I don't get burnt out. And um, my type of season is finally coming about. Um, today's the first day of college football, although it's only like one game. And then the NFL is starting, our fantasy teams, just like all the different things that I also like enjoy as well. So just doing some free things, y'all. So baby girl is actually still sleeping-esque. So I'm going to see how much I can get done while she's sleeping before she gets up. I'm not sure. I know that we plan on going to Ikea. We might go out and have breakfast as well. Our roof is supposed to be able to um, get fixed. Y'all, that was a whole fiasco because the person who was supposed to come and fix our roof has been like MIA and it's been over a month now. And so I had totally forgot that like... I know contractors and things like that just from my like my job. So I reached out and literally 24 hours, boom, or maybe 48 hours because they weren't able to come on Friday. So 48 hours, boom, and we're going to get this done. Um, we decided that the most cost effective route would just be to fix the area that is damaged right now and then save for future replacement of the entire roof like our roof is not old it's barely four years old it'll be four years old in December so but we are kind of realizing that the roof that they gave us like in just our neighborhood isn't the best roof um and so like we're not complaining or anything like that but just saying yeah um we have an idea of what we want our roof to be um, and so we'll save up for that. So yeah, y'all, I'm going to go ahead, drink my coffee and get into some of my budgeting stuff and I'll come back on here in a bit. All right, you guys. So I am getting dressed. We are going to go out for breakfast. Um, I'm sort of kind of dressed. I'm trying to get baby girl ready. However, the roofers have showed up to repair our roof. So my husband is up there like talking with them. I was talking about this in my weekly check-in that the original people who were supposed to come and do our roof never like replied or I don't know what happened. So I got um, one of my contractors and got them to come 48 hours later. Here they are bright and early. So I'm glad that we hadn't left yet because they just showed up. They never like text me to say like, hey, I'm on the way or anything like that. So glad that they are here and that is getting taken care of baby girls over there in the back <laughs> so i'm gonna finish getting her ready see what my husband is saying and then i need to comb her hair baby that's the roof they're on the roof um and get her hair combed up and get us ready because my husband wants us to be back in order to watch the first uh 
college football game. So we'll do that. And then my husband says that he actually wants to go tomorrow because we are planning on getting baby girl a new bed. Her bed is way too small. And my husband's been saying she's actually been falling out of the bed because there's just not enough space for her to like move. So we thought we had some time, but we don't have any time y'all. So we're going to try to get her um, one of those. Right. I showed like a little snippet of all of the food that we had y'all I had two drinks and I finished all of my food which is very very rare um, but we are home it seems like they are done with our roof so thank God for that we are gonna watch a little bit of football it's actually 1204 baby girl is home so we'll probably let her stay up for about another maybe seven minutes because this is going to go uh we're also also watching the college football game so we'll probably let it go to halftime and then she can go and take her nap and i am going to try to get some videos done for sure because i have some clothes on so i can do um my face-to-face -face video <laughs> before i go put on my house clothes so yeah enjoying the day and it's not so terrible like outside we did stop at target to pick up some water for the guys working on our roof and then i think my husband will just take the rest of it home so that is what's going on right now you guys and come on big girl and yeah that's just where we're going on right now um i was looking at ikea we're probably gonna go to i or i'm pretty sure we're gonna go to ikea tomorrow so i'll take y'all on that trip so that y'all can see just what it looks like we really only have plans to pick up a um a full-size bed for baby girl because that's all she needs her dresser and nightstand is fine if we can find something great that would be great because the rest of her um, furniture in her room is gray so we'll see about that and then I do want to throw my husband's laundry into the washing machine because baby girl's clothes is technically washed but she has some more so matter of fact if I could get that in the washer and get all everything wash today that would also be great as well y'all so we are all up from a nap baby girl is snacking i got clothes in the washing machine and um we are just relaxing we actually have a fantasy team draft today so my phone's been like dead and i just happened to put it on the charger didn't even realize it so you may not get too much going on today we'll see what happens i think i need to make a walmart pickup though or drop off delivery because i'm missing a couple of things and when i went into target to get water for the roofers i didn't want to walk through we were trying to hurry up and get home so i might have to do that but y'all the roof is fixed thank you jesus um because that was a whole ordeal but that is fixed and complete and we are good to go i wanted to follow up with y'all we are just watching sports and keeping up with everything so that we have um an idea of what we're going to be doing so we're actually going to probably be relaxing a little bit i'm going to be washing up clothes and things like that but other than that we're going to get ready for our draft and stuff like that and i think i came on here and told y'all i finished some videos so i did get that too done that i'll be rolling out and stuff like that so i just wanted to hop on here real quick y'all good morning lovely people it is a sunday and i just wanted to come on here because i never came on here yesterday to tell y'all good night how it was but we had a draft it was fun we were watching um football both footballs um and just hanging out and having a blast and we did have i forgot to show y'all what i eat because i do need to get back on that y'all sharing my healthy eating and what i'm doing to be healthy and lose weight so um but we had our chick-fil-a chicken and french fries y'all i love that I love that for us. So I'm going to make sure when I do my bulk shopping for September that I do that as well. But I made myself some coffee. It's about 6.50. Racing does not start until 8 o'clock. I actually also just wanted a candle going. I don't know if y'all can see it. 
Yeah, I have a candle going. I don't know why, but I just needed to have one going this morning. So I lit that and I made my coffee. So I am going to drink my coffee and do some um, just like budgeting and stuff like that. My phone is actually dead because I forgot to put it on the charger. So that's also another reason why I'm trying to hurry up and do this. We are going to be going to Ikea today. We're going to be redoing somewhat baby girl's room. So I'll show y'all that because that's part of decluttering. And I have, y'all, September's rolling around, and I have until the end of September to really get this house in tip-top shape. So um, we'll get to do that. And the fun part about that is I am off on Monday, so I'll have sort of the following Monday, I want to say. Um, I'll have a little bit of extra time to do a day's worth of cleaning um, or I shouldn't say cleaning, but decluttering, because I don't know how our living room, for instance, is in good shape. It's just that baby girl stuff, is sh whatever she hasn't cleaned up is still out, but I need to move all of my husband's shoes. That little table there, I'm actually going to put it upstairs, because upstairs in her, our like second living room, it should be where like all of her stuff are, but our living room is not bad, but for whatever reason... These two like shelves just always collect everything. And let me tell y'all what I'm about to do. My spirit of just taking everything and throwing it into the garbage, I don't even care what it is. That's what I'm going to do because if not, I'm going to keep going up there. Oh, let's keep this. Oh, let's keep that. And then nothing ever gets thrown away. So I might even accomplish that today and let that be cleared up um, and get that table to go upstairs. Um, our biggest thing is that we don't have a TV. My husband got like a cheap one, like whenever we had like our bulk pickup, but now it doesn't work anymore. So that no longer is a viable option. We may just need to pick up a cheap TV um, and we may or may not do that today too so we'll see we'll see what kind of move my husband's in and what he's trying to accomplish but just wanted to hop on here y'all it is sunday and while i'm talking to y'all i already defrosted um the pack of chicken but i need to get the beef out so that can defrost and i'm trying to think what was the other thing i had to cook because i'm not even gonna lie to y'all um, I have some shrimp in the freezer, like the shrimp that I bought at the beginning of the month. And I'm thinking maybe one of those can be, well, no, that might be Friday's dinner. We'll just see y'all. But I think I need to take out some chicken tenders. I think that's what it is. I need to go look so I could take those out and let those defrost as well, too. Let me go get into my budget and drink my coffee in peace, and I'll see y'all here in a bit. All right, you guys, so we are going to get ready to leave out of the house. Racing just finished, and we also had our breakfast in the middle of that, so I'm going to get myself dressed first, and then get baby girl ready because it's just easier for me to be dressed first and then get her all together and what was I thinking to my oops um thinking to myself that I need to sorry y'all I'm like looking through all of this um is um I just lost my train of thought, y'all. But I'm getting my clothes and my shoes and everything together. Change my clothes, get dressed. We're headed to Ikea, which is years away from us. So we need to leave now. They do open at 9 o'clock. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get ready and get baby girl's hair together. So we are still deep in like I think like Katie or something like that. It is 204. I think we got here oh like at 1120 or something like that. So we kind of got most of the stuff. We got baby girl 
a new bed and a new mattress and some sheets and my husband has been wanting to get her curtains for a year and a day now so he got some curtain rods and um, some curtains so we're actually gonna be redoing her room today which that should be fun and um, he went to go get the bed because we couldn't just pick it up like we had to pre-order it and then wait for them to bring it out so that is what he went to do um, I showed y'all previously we ate lunch there um, I did the chicken tenders and the french fries and then um, he did the meatballs and then baby girl just like picked off of our stuff so we should be home I wouldn't say shortly but we'll be heading home and then I'll need to season some meat for dinner of course and um, wash baby girl's clothes so I'll see y'all here uh, we need some water and baby girl's kind of just back there minding her own business we are home you guys I'm gonna show y'all baby girl's room because it is a hot mess show y'all what it looks like whenever we're done with it but this is what her rooms look like and these are the stuff we just bought this is our makeshift curtains y'all so we are somewhat kind of done with the baby girl's room um the bed is up we kind of move some stuff around she still needs some stuff on the wall y'all know how that be but her bed is installed i'm over here trying to cook up this um chicken because it is 6 34 i need to try and comb baby girl's hair i'm still washing her clothes and the sheets that we got for her new bed and then the house is still kind of just like i have dishes to do and stuff like that and we are supposed to be drafting tonight as well y'all so we're gonna see because i told baby girl she didn't take a nap today so she needs to go to bed a little bit earlier so we'll see how that goes okay. y'all this is what her room looks like we're not finished i'm gonna put the sheets on and everything like that but this is what it looks like <sighs> y'all sorry for baby girl in the background she was mad because i told her she couldn't come upstairs and then i told her to come up and now she's mad so let me get her room together y'all so i am getting ready for bed i'm blowing out my candle and I'm about to start the dishwasher. Well, I'll wait until my husband gets out the shower before I start the dishwasher. But y'all, baby girl is loving her new room. Now it's not done. We're gonna get some things, you know, cleaned up. And oh my gosh, I have something in my mouth. I'm so sorry, y'all. Um, but um, she loves her room. She didn't even want us to put her to bed tonight i'm like and i like real deal y'all like cried a tear because um cried a tear because i'm like she was just so cute she had jumped onto the bed and she was like um what did she say she's like oh my gosh mommy like is this for me and i'm like yes and she's like it's so comfy and just hearing her say that like really made me want to cry but i also wanted to show y'all oh i think guess it came out of my mouth um but y'all have never seen inside of like my office with all the junk but yeah, an entire, like all right here, was nothing but papers. The day that I moved in <laughs> was just like all my budgeting stuff, like every time, and I would just throw it over there, like any packages, um, I would just throw everything in there, y'all. And this morning, I was able to, ooh, sorry, y'all, clean all of that up. So I still just have this over here to clean up because soon me and my husband will be sharing um this space so i need to clean this spot up so that he can put um he's getting like a racing rig and so 
we're going to put that in there. So I really was productive this weekend, y'all. I really did my thing. So now over there is a lot cleaner and that makes me feel better. And I don't know if y'all saw me like looking backwards, but um, while we were at Ikea, my husband wanted to see if we could buy like one of those like benches or something like that. Um, you know, that you put like in your mudroom. And so we were thinking space right here. Um, this space right here. So I need him to go ahead and measure it. I don't, um, the item that he wanted would work right here because it would definitely cut off the room here. And we don't want to do that because worst case scenario, y'all, is if we were to have another child, they would get the room that is currently our especially if it's like a boy um they would get the room that is the guest room right now and the guest room would technically kind of like move downstairs or we would kind of do like a day bed type thing so we wouldn't want that room to be cut off but yeah y'all the kitchen is cleaned up the living room is cleaned up and I'm headed to my bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog. Um, for dinner, we had um, some leftover rice that I just reheated, like recooked up, and I made some brown stew chicken. So that was what we had. Um, nothing really healthy, to be very honest, but I ate nonetheless. Um, but like, 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 y'all, share with your friends and family, and I will see y'all in the next one.